Uh, I'm Dale Talde, I'm a chef partner in a Three Kings restaurant group, and we are at my restaurant in Sony. See, my point of reference for Squid Ink was always with this version of adobo that my mom makes. That's with baby squid. The squid Ink tastes like, like the animal or the squid version of what capers are. Adds this brininess, this like really intense like oceanic flavor, but it's and it's slightly fishy, but in almost in a fresh way. So our squid ink pappardelle with blue crab, it starts with the pasta itself, like in any traditional Italian dish. Um, pasta is the main event, right? So we use semolina and durum flour. We take squid ink, mix it with the egg yolks and a little bit of water and some salt, and then we mix it together, and then we um, roll it out, cut fat ribbons out of it, cook the pasta for a minute and a half. 10 seconds either way, that pasta, you're fucked, right? It's undercooked, overcooked, you're fucked. We've warmed up the sauce with a warm crab meat, and it's just tossing it together, a little bit of pasta water, and then it's done. And the sauce is a, um, a playoff of vodka sauce, right? So, you know, it's basic tomato, onion. We wanted to put a little Old Bay on it to kind of give it some life and personality that wasn't just a typical vodka sauce. But then we added some, like, toasted breadcrumbs and some scallion, and that's kind of how the dish came together. Would a typical Sicilian grandmother put, you know, Old Bay into her sauce? Probably not, but for us, it just made sense. For us, it was like, let's put the best of our efforts for a seafood pasta into this dish. So for me, it's really a labor of love. We worked a lot on that dish. Like, probably more than anything. That's why I'm passionate about it, because we really worked on the fucking thing forever. You know, and I'm always, I'm always kind of mesmerized by that color. It's beautiful. The red and the flecks of white with over the black pasta, to me, it's a beautiful plate of pasta.